Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Thanks so much for joining me. Today I get to share with you a project with the Spellbinders Glimmer Kit of the Month for March 2020. This month's kit is extra special. In fact, that's the name of it. It comes with, you get a total of eight plates and then four cutting dies. And it all comes with, it also comes with a beautiful blue sky bright foil. Okay. I brought in a couple more foils for my project today. I have a polished brass and a pink, and we're gonna create an Easter card. So I think those are pretty spring colors. I trimmed down a few smaller pieces, and then I had my glimmer machine heating up, heating up off to the side. At least I thought it was ready to go. <laughs> I end up having to wait a little bit because it wasn't quite ready. But what we're gonna do is do a little foiling. So I have three small pieces of cardstock and three pieces of foil. The sky bright, we're gonna to add to the bottom one here. I'm just gonna make sure it's square. Today, the negative piece of my foils were so pretty, I thought we would use the negative pieces along with the positive pieces today. So I'm just kind of evenly spacing them so they don't overlap, and then I'm adding my cardstock on top. And then we're gonna go ahead and do our sentiment at the same time. Um, sentiment. There's a lot of buildable sentiments in here. There's happy Easter, spring, wishes, and hello. So I have the happy Easter. And then you put both of these together and you have the die that will cut out your sentiment um, in this month's kit also, which is really nice. Um, in this month's kit you get, I mentioned four cutting plates, but three of those are eggs that you can cut out the large, medium, small with the glimmer plates. Okay, so this looks like it's ready to go. I'm just making sure that my sentiment foils lined up. I'm, I'm going to add a shim to it, a paper shim. We'll add our plastic shim, paper shim, and then our top plate. And here's where I realized my, my machine was not, well, turned off. It wasn't ready quite yet. But that's okay because we can create a background while that's warming up. And now it looks like it's ready to go. <laughs> but I'm going to use some brand new dies to um, the Spellbinder shop. These are so pretty, and these are called the um, Essential Rectangles. These cut out a rectangle shape, and then there's also a detail piece that will cut out um, a pierced piece, adding pierced detail. I've used one similar in my cards before, and I love them. This is nice. I'm going to nest two of the piercing pieces together so I have two stitched detail, or not really stitched, pierced details on my panel. Okay, <clears throat> my glimmer plates are ready, my panel's ready. We're going to take a look at all of our little Easter eggs. They're so cute, and I think those colors are perfect for spring. Okay, I was going to turn it off and I thought, well, I might have to do a redo, so I left it on. But is the negative piece just as pretty as the positive? I just love that. I thought, well, that would make a real pretty egg too. So we're gonna use, um, make a card with six eggs with the positive and the negative. Here's the gold or the polished brass, super pretty. Foiled beautifully. And then here is the pink one. Now the pink one didn't do too well. I think it was too much off to the side. You can see partial piece of it didn't foil. So we're gonna do a redo on that one. And then our Happy Easter kind of has a little bit of excess foiling. So I thought we would do a redo on that too. That's the best thing about foils. It's easy just to redo it. So here's our pink egg. And it turned out beautifully the second time. And here's our negative piece. It was just as pretty. I'm going to go ahead and redo my sentiment. <clears throat> second time's the charm. It turned out perfect. And so we'll get rid of the other one. And we're going to use the negative piece of the sentiment too. I thought, why not? <laughs> so our foiling's done. We're going to set our machine aside and work on our die cutting. Um, I'm going to die cut out my sentiment here. Just line it up and tape it down. Now I do notice if you put your tape, even though it's a low tack tape, if you die cut it, sometimes it does lift up the foil. So I try to avoid the foiling. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add <clears throat> the die to my egg here. Now, there's a medium-sized die and a small die. If you take the medium and small and go over your foiled image, it will just die cut it out, and you have a, a smaller egg. Which is Okay, so now all of the positive are done. Now we get to work on the negative. Now, I'm going to show you how I did one, and then I'm going to do the rest the exact same way. I have white cardstock and then double-sided sticky tape. Any kind of double-sided tape... Um, 
would work. I would suggest a larger piece because cause sometimes if you use the smaller strips, the creases will show. Um, Fudge Stamper's Journey also has a, a large eight and a half by 11 double size sheets that I'll link down below. But I'm just gonna remove the release paper after that's it here down. And then all you do is add the foil. Easy peasy guys. And I found when you do this, there are no scratches. Your foiled images are gorgeous. I'm just rubbing it down real good. There's no air bubbles. I didn't have no issues with air bubbles. And then I'll just take the coordinating die and die cut out my negative piece. And it's just as pretty as the positive. Now there's a clear film over it. I left it on there. I thought if I took it off, it would scratch. So um, it just added to the prettiness, I think. <laughs> So easy peasy with the positive and negative. Now I'm gonna add three of my eggs to the top of my panel and then I'm gonna flip them upside down and add three more to the bottom. Kind of evenly spacing them and I think they look great. Um, you can see that my sentiment boiled beautifully and there's that clear plastic film over the top still, but I think it, it was perfect. There's no lines or streaks in it. I added both the sentiments and then now we're gonna add this to our card base. For my card base, I'm gonna use a pale blue cardstock that's four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I just, it's a top folding card base. I'm gonna use my journey glue to go ahead and tack that down to the front of my card base. And what's nice is those dotted details in my background panel um, are blue now because you have that, that blue card base. So it turned out super soft and super pretty. I'm just going to add a little extra detail to the eggs using some um, jewel drops. These are going to dry clear, so it's going to be real subtle, but I'm just adding a few drops with the pink on the pink eggs, yellow with the, the polished brass eggs, and then I'm going to add a few little dots of blue to my blue eggs. Just adds a little, add, a little bit of added dimension. This one was clogged. I have to find my pin and, and unclog it. And we'll add a couple over here. And the nice thing too is the dies. If you were to die cut out the, the medium and the small egg, you would use the same pattern as the large egg. Super easy. Now I have a surprise for you guys. If you stuck with me through the end, I have a giveaway. So I have the Spellbinders Glimmer Kit of the Month. Um, an entire set here for you and then I also have the foil that goes with it um, all you have to do is leave a comment down below in the, in the comment area until Thursday on midnight and I'll leave more details um, in the description area below but um, on Friday morning I will randomly uh, pick a number or a letter um, not really a letter <laughs> I'll pick one of you guys um, through a random number generator. How about that? And then I will um, share one of these with you. How about that? Um, it'll come in the Spellbinders envelope. So keep a lookout for that. Um, I'll have it mailed by the weekend. So nice little surprise for you guys. Have a great day. Thanks so much for joining me. We will see you again soon. Bye-bye.